Hello, it is another day in the shop working on Flossy. Last update y'all saw, we got the driver's side floor pan and this bar up here installed and is looking minty fresh. Loving how it's turning out so far. So, I think on today's agenda, I want to get this panel fixed, get a patch to go in there and try my hand at um, flush welding that and work on some more supports throughout here. I'm going to use the same 7 ace tubing as here and just make like a bar across here and then probably two verticals connecting. So, see what we get into. Let's get her done. All right, I got some measurements made of that, so I'm gonna transfer them onto the 16 gauge and then get her cut out. Alrighty, folks. Got this piece. Um, I could be like the reality TV show guys and tell you that I got this perfectly sized on the very first try, but I ain't gonna do that to you. Got the first piece, filmed on time-lapse, and measured right. But they're in it. But the idiot I hired to cut it um, didn't account for the thickness of the cutoff wheel, and it was about sixteenth inch too short here. Figured I'd just make another one, so that's what I did. And then cut it and cut it a little bit oversized, and just trimmed it down to a fit. And I got all the paint and rust scraped off and cleaned off, and it actually fits pretty good. So. I'm gonna get some magnets and get it just hold in there tight. Let me get some other stuff. All right, I got some tacks on it and just running along a couple inches, do a tack, a couple inches, then split and go closer. So I'm just gonna continue, start on one end, go a little bit closer, a little bit closer all the way around and then do it again until that's solid. So, yep, I'll see y'all when it's finished. Well guys, I'm about halfway done with this and I realized how much of an idiot I am. Forgot to punch holes in that for spot welds onto that tubing. Yep, I'm a moron. Should be able to fix it by doing a bead along there, so. I don't think it's the end of the, end of the world. It just sucks. Alrighty, that's mostly welded in. Right now it doesn't look that great, but I'm gonna go through and go with a flap disc and clean this up, and then probably go in and re-weld wherever it's thin that I'll be able to see after I get that cleaned up and then fill in and then clean it again and do that till it's solid. Um, did run into some issues here in this corner where I, it blew through. So I took this, it's just a um, chunk of copper pipe cut off and then flattened and I clamped it on the other side here and then was able to, cause weld won't stick to this so it just kind of piles up on this and fills the hole and it actually worked out good and I got that filled. So I'm gonna clean that up. That looks better. Still might need a little bit more welding to fill in and a little bit more cleaning, but it's pretty good for now. Next up, I'm going to hammer this excess down and bend it around the tubing to make this focuses, there we go, to make kind of like that. And then All right, that patch looks minty fresh, dude. Should have turned out pretty sick. Got that bent down really nicely, and I mean, ain't no one telling me that don't look legit. And 
pretty factory fresh. So now we got this bar down here clamped in place and I scribed where it's supposed to be so I can drill for spot welds. Marked my ends to cut off so I'm going to pull that off and get that sliced and drill some spot welds. holes drilled out and minty freshness got this pipe cut well not pipe more of a tube but we got it cut and capped them ends off so we can get this aligned start doing some spot welding welded in definitely solidified things up good um, I got see how them spot welds right there I got in from this side and then just for added legitness put a couple beads along there just for that much extra strength so now I got this bar here and it across so I got it mounted on here good 90 degree and then I'm marking down here where I need that cut with my angle so I'm gonna get that cut out sliced off and um, cleaned it up so I can test fit right here oh yeah perfect fit first try even I'm impressed well things are taking shape here we done got like y'all saw, we got this cleaned up. It's ready to go in. I got them holes drilled out. So, the only thing I have to do is to install it. So we're going to simply do one of these numbers. Well, that bar is all installed and getting tight. Got solid beads all the way around into the other tubes and then spot welds on the floor. Now, take this bar and do something like that. That should be plenty of support underneath this floor. I'm thinking, just to make this easy, do a 45 cut on this end, hold it up, and mark whatever angle that is, so. Let's get cracking. Fire me up, dude. We got one thing completed on flossy. Driver's side floor pan is, at least for now, is done. We got them bars welded in and beaded up and spot welded through the other side. We got capped up the ends on this tube. Probably should have done that before installing that tube so I could weld all 360 degrees, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Just enough to keep um, stuff from getting inside and laying inside those tubes when I go bouncing through the sand dunes or water pits and stuff. But that is completely solidified up and is super cool. Is definitely going to be a stout Jeep. Let me get a light here. Booyah. 
see all them little spot welds coming through. So this isn't completely done. I'll still have to <clears throat> probably grind these down smooth and do a little bit more tweaking. But as far as the majority main pieces of the driver's side floor pan is done. So cool. The days of being a rust bucket fliver will soon cease. That's a wrap for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and then you get notified every time I upload so you never miss an update. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time on the anti-rust rusty Jeep extravaganza.